All right, I'm on camera for this video because I'm gonna be playing a very scary game and I'm already scared and I don't wanna be alone. So you're gonna have to keep me company. I'm gonna be jumping back into a game that I played before, Facility. It's made by one of my good friends, Epic Roblox dev, Little Disquit. Now I had already played and made videos about chapter one and chapter two, but since then Disquit has come back and overhauled the game and remade chapter one. So I'm gonna be checking that out along with some of the other additions to the game. So if you don't like like Roblox horror games then you might want to leave now but if you do like scary games you're gonna want to check this one out all right let's see what's different about the game now there's a new layout for the multiplayer map a new game pass a Halloween lobby a Halloween event a remade episode one this is what I'm really interested in and much more all right here we go now I don't typically get scared from games they usually use like loud noises or jump scares so let's see what this game has in store ah I already see the scariest thing in the universe it's a noob why am I a noob? This is not my avatar. All right, real quick, I had to adjust some of my lighting settings because that light was way too bright. So right off the bat, what I can see that's different here is this whole parking lot area has changed. There's a bunch of green slime here. I hope it's not toxic for me to be stepping in it. But this episode one barn wasn't over here before, and that Halloween event house is obviously a limited time thing. A bunch of people going into episode one, so we're gonna go and check that out. Go ahead and join, ladies. And they didn't join. So one of the cool things about this change that Discord has made to the first episode is that it's now multiplayer. So I'm going to be playing alone, but you can play with your friends. I need to find the keys to the facility. They're in a shed somewhere. Okay, that looks like a shed over there. This is pretty much how the original version started. You had to find some keys to get inside. Perfect. So this is facility A1, as in there's other facilities like facility A2 or maybe facility B1. Okay, so I don't think it's going to get too scary yet because we're right at the very beginning. There shouldn't be any monsters here. I have to find a generator. Office, no. Generator, perfect. So find a code on a piece of paper in the storage room. Okay, cool. I already saw the storage room, so let's head back over there. Yeah, I like the very eerie vibes this has going on. This is quite different than the original version. I don't remember there being any foliage inside. So this really makes it look like it's overgrown and it's been abandoned for a while. We got some uh, weeds growing up here. I'm looking for a piece of paper. Oh, there we go. 130607. Okay, cool. That should be easy to remember because it's my phone number. 130607. And off we go. Why is it scary that just the lights are turning on? Can't we have some peace before I start to poop my pants? Oh, cool. I got to get inside of the basement. Oh, perfect. Yeah, nothing bad ever happens in a basement. I'd rather go inside the office. Yeah, this looks safe. Let me just go down here. Underground. Somebody locking me inside? I thought this place was abandoned. Someone shut the basement door on me. This facility was about to be abandoned. That's exactly what I said. Let's go. Okay, this is probably when it's gonna be scary. There's a monster down here, I bet. Find the basement door. Yeah, okay. It's right here. I found it. <laughs> Let me out. Right, I guess I gotta go further into this thing. Is that what this is? Yeah. Find gears around the basement and put them into the gearbox. <laughs> That's not fair, man. That's a cheap shot. You... Well, it's even that scary. You just interrupted me reading this. You are mom. This game is teaching me all kinds of things I didn't know about myself. All right. Where are the... Where are the gears? There we go. Machine part two. Okay. So there must be a machine part one somewhere around here. <laughs> Machine part three. Okay, cool. I got two and three. Let's find the first one last. That yeah, wasn't too bad. So this... Will you stop? So this is pretty cool. This is way different. This is not anything like the original episode one. This is like a, a big labyrinth thing. I had to walk all around here looking for these gear parts. I'm guessing they just spawn randomly every time you play. It could be in a different place. So that's a cool way to make it more engaging because the original episode one was really linear. It just kind of went from one thing to the next to the next. Find a way out. Okay. Oh, this is freaky. You got these guys suspended in these tubes. I hope they don't pop out and try to attack me. Oh, this is a uh, fake shelf. 
gonna be a door out. No, there's a vent. Oh, I love vents. Let me in. Find a crowbar, okay? This is a crowbar laying on the ground. Not too difficult. Let me just bash this thing open. <laughs> Use a computer that's on to open a door with a safe behind it, okay? Let me get my flashlight out. Wait, hold on. I hear footsteps this time. Oh, oh! Did you see that? Okay, there's a monster in here. He's got the same face as that face that keeps popping up. All right, so I'm looking for a computer. I have to avoid that guy, I'm guessing. Oh my God. He's gonna be guarding the computer, I bet. Okay, that's where I came from. I hear him over there. Let me try to get to the other side of this area. Oh my god, he's behind me. I can hear him getting closer. Okay, there we go. I got a computer. Sounds like a door open. Find a code on paper located in an office. Okay. Oh my god, this guy is so close. <gasps> he's pretty easy to avoid. In the facility multiplayer that I played before, once a monster sees you, it pretty much kills you. So far, I've been able to just turn my flashlight off and go into a room, and this guy leaves me alone. I can hear him over there. Let me go this way. I like this kind of scary because it's tension driven. It's not just jump scares. There is that mask that pops up every now and then. But I know this guy is around somewhere. I can kind of hear where he's at from my headset walking around. I'm trying to avoid him. And that's like making me tense. 526601. Okay. I'm gonna do something with that. That's perfect. That's easy to remember. It's my other phone number. <gasps> no! Oh! 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 Okay, cool. I, I respawned. Oh no, I forgot what the code was. I think it goes right here. I'm gonna guess. Oh, I got it right! I'm so smart. Find a door to escape the office. Be careful, he's faster. I think there was a door where I spawned. Should be like straight back on the other side. This guy is uh, gonna be faster now though, so I re Yo, no! Oh, he's like glitched in the wall. I didn't even hear his footsteps. <laughs> Sucker. I'm not even a scared of you. Come and get me. I'm about to escape your facility. Stupid monster. Let's go. So I'm still inside. There's a long hallway here. It's getting kind of blurry. Oh no, my contacts must have fallen out again. This is really... Friend? This is a person. Oh, no, it's a monster. I feel funny. Oh, nice. All right. So this is the end of the original episode one. There was this orb here and it escapes and like kills a bunch of people or something. So they basically got us to the same place. We just took a different route to get there. I'm supposed to do something here. Here we go. Power box. Whoa, the lives ruined that day and the lives ruined the many years after the explosion were almost indeterminable. And I suffer every day with the same nightmare of the past. Every day you'll hear on the news about how this all could have been avoided. I'm just gonna try and get some more sleep. Hopefully they won't find us hiding here. They'll take any precautions necessary to eliminate us to be continued. Okay, so that's the end of episode one. Hey, what's up guys? I completely forgot to record an outro for that video. I'm sitting here right now today editing it and I wanted to wrap it up with a nice little bow on top. So my final thoughts on the remake of episode one are that I really like the changes that Disquid made. I love the maze that he put in there where you have to look for the gears. And I think that having a monster that's pretty easy to avoid and even if it does kill you, you just have to restart the level is a nice change of pace from what I've experienced with the monsters in facility before. I'll have the link to the game down in the description. You guys should definitely go check it out. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button with your forehead. Hit the subscribe button with your big toe and turn on notifications however you can so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content and i will see you guys later take care be safe and never forget what i always say peace